Welcome to a review of the B-Movie expansion for the cooperative movie-making board game, Roll Camera. Since this expansion does require a copy of Roll Camera, you might want to pause here and check out our Roll Camera review over on the blog, on YouTube, or as part of episode 152 of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, The Games of Ah Shucks. We also want to thank Grand Gamers Guild for getting us a review copy of this expansion. So the B-Movie expansion for Roll Camera was designed by Malachi Ray Rampant, the original designer of Roll Camera, and John Velgis, who is best known for Finger Guns at High Noon. It features artwork by Malachi that perfectly matches the style and silliness of the original, which makes sense because he's a comic book artist, webcomic artist. Now the player count stays the same at one to six players, but the game time does get a bit longer as the new genre mechanics add a significant amount of new things to the game, for players to deal with and provides a broader decision space, leading to longer games. The B-Movie expansion was originally funded through Kickstarter and was published here in North America in a joint effort between Keen Bean Studio and Grand Gamers Guild. The retail version, which is what we're reviewing here today, has an MSRP of $30, which may seem high for an expansion until you see just how much stuff yes. comes in this box. So the big thing the B-Movie expansion adds to Roll Camera is a new genre system, which includes the genres of Western, sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and crime. Now this comes out in play through genre tokens, new middle script cards, and ways to manipulate both. To win the game, now not only does your movie have to be good enough, or bad enough, it also has to fit the right genre. The box also includes six new rolls, a ton of new screen cards, scene cards, equipment cards featuring powerful one-time abilities, more problems, more ideas, new top and bottom scripts, new production companies, stickers and tiles, and other bonus items. For a look at all of the stuff, be sure to check out our Roll Camera, the B-Movie Expansion unboxing video on YouTube. It really is a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is one small but heavy box that has a lot of well-packed stuff in it. Of note is the very clear linen finish rule book with a cool VHS theme. This is one of the most pleasing rule books I've ever touched. Super thick two millimeter cardboard tokens, sturdy two sided player boards, and a ton of cards. Most surprising to me was just how many new scenes you get with the expansion. This box contains three times as many scenes as were included in the base game and doubles the number of player rolls. Quality here is excellent, and I'm very pleased to say that everything in the expansion will actually fit in the base game's game trays insert, though it is a bit tight. So how do you use all this new stuff? What exactly does the B-Movie expansion add to Roll Camera? So the big thing this adds to Roll Camera is the genre system that I just mentioned. This is a totally new layer to the game, and most of what comes in this box is there to support this new way of play. When playing with genres, there are a number of changes to the game, the first of which is the fact that the script section of the board now contains three parts. Top and bottom scripts, as before, plus the new middle script cards. Each of these features six genre icons made up of western, sci-fi, fantasy, crime, and horror. Now, mechanically, these new middle script cards become a new requirement that must be met in order to win the game. Your finished movie must include, at a minimum, six genre tokens matching the current middle script card at the end of the game. If they don't, you lose. This new script card counts as a script card for all in-game purposes and can be modified, changed, and affected by all in-game events that previously only affected top and bottom scripts. To go along with these new genre requirements, the new scene cards include one or two genre symbols on them. When those scripts come up on the storyboard, you place the appropriate genre tokens on them. In addition to the genre tokens, some of the new scene cards also include more than one theme and count as having both themes shown for all interactions. Now, interestingly, at the start of the game, you shuffle all 100 scene cards and draw only 25 to use, which could be a mix of the new and old cards. And due to the fact you may not get the right type of scene cards, or the right genre tokens, there are now two new worker placement spots added to the board when playing with genres. One of these action spots lets you swap out a genre token for $1 or add a new one to a scene for free. The other lets you wipe the entire storyboard, drawing a new set of four cards using a pair of dice. The next addition to the game is 
the 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 B movie expansion adds are equipment cards. You draw three of these at the start of the game, place them near the board. Each of these features a new action spot with a very powerful ability that can only be used once. At the end of the turn, when an equipment card's been used, you take the die off, pass it to the next player, and flip it over so it won't be used again. The rest of this expansion includes new idea and problem cards that are shuffled into their respective decks, new top and bottom scene cards to be mixed in with the originals, and new production companies you can choose from at the start of the game to make the game more difficult and interesting. Now, while it's obvious that the designer and publisher expect you to add all of this to your base copy of Roll Camera and use it every game, there are parts of this expansion that can be used without having to play with the genre system. This includes the new player roles, some of the new equipment cards, and most, if not all, of the new script cards. There's one final bonus item included with the B-Movie expansion for Roll Camera, and that's a small punch board filled with small, silly icons that can be punched out and placed onto your completed scene cards. These serve no in-game purpose, but are fun to play with. Now, as you just heard, the B-Movie expansion adds a lot of stuff, right? Physically, a lot of physical stuff to roll camera. There are more cards in this expansion than were included in the base game. That counts every type of deck. It's ridiculous, which I found to be very impressive. Equally impressive is the quality of the new components, especially the thickness of the cardboard tokens. We were happy with the original game material quality. And as one would hope, the new material doesn't disappoint in the least. Now, I was also very happy to see the game included both tiles and stickers for the new action spots and for the larger script area. I like having the option to permanently change my roll camera board if I want to or not. This is an interesting inclusion, as while the ability to change back and forth is nice, there is enough material to make pulling out all the expansion content impacted by the genre system a bit of an effort. Yeah. So I doubt many people will choose not to keep it in after trying it. And the most shocking thing to me with this expansion was the fact that it all actually fit in the aim insert. It was already pretty tight fit. Like, it looks like a movie reel. It's kind of neat. But we ended up having to mix up stacks of cards and different types, and the tokens were kind of placed all over the place. It did fit, and the lid shut. I will say, though, it's not the most optimal method of storage for getting the game set up at the start of game night, though. I honestly didn't think it had a chance of fitting when looking at it. Even after getting halfway put away, it was still looking unlikely, but it did work, and hats off to them for that. Now, as for gameplay, I liked what the B-Movie expansion adds to roll camera. The new genre mechanics fit in well with the theme of the game. I especially like how integrated into the core loop of play genre becomes once you add in everything. It isn't just a new requirement. It's something you have to manage, something you can manipulate. It comes up during idea sharing, and genre-based problems come up frequently. What it didn't add, thankfully, was additional frustration. While the game isn't easy and there's a lot to manage, adding in the genres didn't overwhelm the game thanks to the additional ways to mitigate them as a problem. You can't ignore them, but they are problems that can be solved with enough time and money. Now, another big thing this expansion does for old camera is adds variability to each game and through that replayability. While part of that comes from the new production company cards, it's mainly derived by the sheer amount of new cards that get added to the game. The fact you only use five of each script section and 25 of 100 scenarios each game means that no two games of roll camera should ever be the same. Doubling the number of available roles only adds to this. Honestly, this is what's truly staggering about the game. Even ignoring the genre system, the amount of new content added means you can play this game many times without ever worrying about it getting stale. Even just trying it once as each different role means the cost per play of this game mm -hmm. and expansion is shockingly low. Well, it is possible to pick up this expansion and ignore the new genre system. I can't see wanting to do this. With the B-movie expansion for roll camera, I say you are either all in or you aren't. While there are a few things in this box not tied to the new system, the vast majority of it is all designed to work together central around this new mechanic. I would say at the very least, get it all in there for your first play or first few plays. I think you'll decide it's more than worth keeping in. Now, amusingly, one of my favorite parts of this expansion is the fact the genre tokens were designed and sized in such a way that they're designed to be placed onto your completed scene cards once they're flipped over. 
And I've got to say, adding cowboy hats and robot heads over top of Malachi's artwork is more fun than it should be. And so far, everyone has loved the fact that we got a bunch of silly bonus icons to make the scenes even more interesting. Again, as a cooperative game, there's so much to it that allows you different ways to have fun. And these new tokens and otherwise pointless punch outs are another feature, like <laughs> the optional rules on each player role that just allow you to have fun with it. I was very tempted to yell stop in the middle of that sentence, but <laughs> that'd be a bit of an inside joke from our game night. Yeah. We've enjoyed every game of roll camera we played uh, with the B-Movie expansion. Honestly, without the B-Movie expansion. And at this point, I can't see bothering to ever pull this out of my copy. That said, I, I wouldn't say this is a must-have. The B-Movie expansion didn't add anything to roll camera that felt like it fixed a problem with the base game. There was also nothing here that felt like it was missing. It didn't feel like the original game needed themes, now or genres, now it does. Yeah, we enjoyed all the new stuff. And I have to admit, the replayability in this game is now at ridiculous levels. But there was already tons of replayability in the base game based on the small subset of cards used and the huge amount of production companies to choose from. The new genre system is highly thematic, and it just feels right at home with the rest of the game, but it doesn't feel necessary. Overall, the B-Movie expansion for roll camera is a nice to have. This is a cool expansion. It expands on a fun game and adds some neat new elements that fit in great, both thematically and mechanically. I'm glad I own it, and I can't ever see playing Roll Camera without it. If you own Roll Camera, you will probably want to pick up the B-Movie expansion at some point, mm -hmm. except for the fact that it may go out of print. There's really no rush, though. Enjoy the base game until it starts to feel a bit samey, then pick this new, up this new way to add a whole new level to the game and make it feel fresh again. Now, if your group loves roll camera and you play it all the time and you can beat it on the highest difficulty and you've tried most, if not all, of the original production companies, then go for it. Pick up the B-Movie expansion and enjoy everything it has to add. For groups new to roll camera or for people who have maybe played at a con or a friend's copy and are looking to pick up their own copy of the game, I would recommend checking out the roll camera premium bundle. This includes not only the base game and this expansion, but some cool upgrades like better dice and wooden genre tokens. Now, if you or your group didn't enjoy Roll Camera, there's no reason to pick up this expansion. This is not the kind of expansion that completely changes the base game or fixes problems with it. I can't see someone who didn't enjoy the original being won over in any way by anything included in this box. Now, finally, for those that do have Roll Camera and think this expansion sounds pretty cool but finds the cost a bit high, you can get a print and play version for only 15 bucks. That's all we have to say about the B-Movie expansion for Roll Camera, the cooperative movie-making board game. A nice-to-have expansion, but not one we felt was a must-buy in order to fully enjoy Roll Camera. <laughs> What's a board game expansion you like, but didn't feel is really necessary? Fun to have and play with, but you don't tell everyone else that owns the base game to rush out and get it. Let us know in the comments below. I also invite you to check out my written review of the B-Movie expansion for Roll Camera over at the blog at tabletopbellhop.com. And if you enjoyed this segment, please consider tipping your bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop.